Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So Alan Wake got the first performance benchmark on Tech Power Up. You can go now. Maybe in the meantime, other places have benchmarks as well, but they have very nice graph that you can check. You can take a look, slow down. And guys, uh, it's bad, but also not as bad as we thought. Because guys, look, the VRAM usage can go up to 18 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, so kind of scary at first glance, but it's really not that bad because this is only if you go for maximum settings, native 4K, nobody plays at 4K. Yeah, even 1490 doesn't play at native. You always add the DLSS. So this is theoretical. So maximum settings, na native 4K, path tracing, not even regular ray tracing, path tracing plus frame generation. Because as you maybe know or don't know, frame generation use VRAM, ray tracing use GPU power, VRAM and CPU power. So path tracing and ray tracing. So and high resolution also use more VRAM because better. Yeah, that's how it is. So theoretically, it can go up to 18, pretty much 18 gigabytes of VRAM if you have absolutely nothing on the background, yeah? So 18 gigabytes of VRAM. But if you go to 1440p, then, you know, 16 gigabytes is enough on 4080. So not really that bad as some of people expect. Like, a lot of people expect it. It was like a joking kind of videos, you know? We were joking about 540p resolution. But look, guys, it's not really that bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's quite playable. And look, this is native. If max settings max, set max settings means unoptimized you go for high settings if you want normal playable fps so this is max settings so it, even now it's not realistic without any dlss without fsr nothing just pure unoptimized settings and it's quite playable so the most popular card on the market at the moment 3060 can play at 44 fps so you add dlss or F yeah you add dlss you probably can reach 60 quite easy or even without dlss if you change the settings let's optimize the settings and you know it very likely 1440p just a little bit more aggressive like dlss balance and optimize settings not my settings i think it can play at 60 fps i think it's really not that bad not like everybody were scared and were joking joking about so so far so good guys and it looks like it's better optimized for nvidia because here we have amd this is my card and i'm biased i like this card because it's my card so yeah i'm qu quite happy very high unfortunately for me so I'm a bit salty. This is better optimized for NVIDIA because the low minimum FPS in, in many people's opinion, way more important than average FPS. Even though everybody focus on that one, this is arguably more important. So, but still not that bad. Still not, not that bad. I think it will be playable. So if we take a look into ray tracing, total domination, yeah? NVIDIA total domination as everybody expect. The only card that can do something, well, two cards that can do something are XTX and XT. But guys, this card is more expensive than 4070 Ti. It's similar range, price range, but this one is $100 more expensive than this one and losing. So yeah. However, this is interesting. Well, this is again, this is just theoretical scenario. This is 4K with ray tracing. Look at these cards, completely fall apart because not enough VRAM. But and people said, oh, we told you 12 gigabytes is a joke. Yeah, but nobody gonna play at uh, native. So this doesn't matter. This is maximum resolution what you're gonna play. But even then, 1440p, you are DLSS quality. Everybody does it. You add DLSS quality, the input resolution will be lower than this one. Of course, it's not the same because you need ex a little bit performance to, to scale the resolution, but still, it won't be this one. It will be closer to this one. And yeah, so fall apart at theoretical, theoretical scenario. Path tracing, even XTX cannot do it really. Well, 43 FPS, maybe if you add FSR, but then, <laughs> yeah, but you can push it, you can force it. So, but performance is very similar to 4070 which is not very good not very good when this card is so much more expensive however i don't think it's really worth it it's if it's worth the hit to performance because the same website can show you the difference so look low and high you can go to the website you can check yourself and you have a slide and you see what's the difference so quite big difference in shadow between high and lowest but look high and let's add ray tracing barely any difference yeah there is some difference but not necessarily but yeah the ray tracing looks better obviously but the difference is so small and let's add path tracing yeah and kill the performance completely there's barely any difference barely any difference especially in some in some cases yeah there is big difference but in some other cases look path tracing and high it's slightly different look but i don't think you know it's not a big difference it's like playing like where, where, where is that difference uh the paddle is slightly different it's a 
little bit more in the paddle oh no wait it's the other side ah yeah so it's not supposed to be enough okay so path tracing is with less reflection ah okay yeah that makes sense because it's more realistic you know you need to like your brain you need to convince yourself which one is better in that scenario like yeah because light's supposed to like give a bloom or you know but if it would be other ray arounds then your brain would say ah yeah this is more sharp so yeah except some scenarios like this one obviously look ray tracing path tracing but look why is like that why i have this fan on the right is ray tracing on the left path tracing have no fence which is more realistic i don't know for me the ray tracing is more realistic and let's switch it off let's go to high guys i like without path tracing more i i don't know i don't know for me i'm happy with the performance guys i'm so happy that you know i may actually try the game and if you can say you know like if you interested how it's gonna look with 540p if you go with maximum dlss quality you can do this as well this website is amazing this is, is amazing look you can go 1080p performance so 540p like reg regression is a quarter of the resolution and you can compare this to for example dlss balanced with yeah balanced guys it still looks good surprisingly good the implementation of the upscalers is amazing and you can decide what is better i think dlss looks better especially at such an aggressive uh, settings at such a low resolution but i've checked out 4k and 1440p the difference is smaller but you can check even though it's not in movement yeah the fsr have shimmerings and like ghosting when somebody something is moving but on the other hand it's a very slow paced game so i don't think it will be that big of a difference but again i'm biased i understand okay think whatever you like you can check it out and you can convince yourself whatever i see very small difference between them and guys this website just to let you know it's so amazing it's not the only game you can check the fsr and the lss you can check for lords of the fallen check the same thing uh, assassin creed the newest game and jedi survivor as well so yeah guys pretty cool and just to let you know this game is apparently epic exclusive for now and i know a lot of people thought that this this shop is just for free games you never you cannot buy anything however you can actually buy games you actually can buy games and now it's probably the best reason to buy something because because it's the only shop selling this game there's no alan wake on on steam which is a shame because this shop is just a launcher there's nothing extra no community no forum no screenshots no art nothing and obviously when you get any achievements it's not gonna go to your steam achievement so pretty bad and you know because i'm a youtuber even though i have 150 subscribers there's a trap of i think every youtuber that you feel almost obligated to spend money spend money to, to have better pc because that's what youtubers supposed to have even though you're not gonna make any money for the next 10 years anyway and you're obligated to test the new games even if you're not really interested because that's what you think in your head people want to see but then you know you can convince yourself actually you know what i would like to try this game so it's not only just for that but yeah this is what it is actually i'm looking forward to play this game because as i can see here it's not that bad and on this card i think i will be able to play even at 4k you know i would just add fsr quality 60 fps maximum settings not so bad so guys i think what they did quite well they exaggerated the system requirements so people won't be disappointed they're positively surprised and that's the way that's the opposite way what what happened to the last of us or jedi survivor that the uh, specs requirement was too optimistic and too many people were burnt and disappointed and yeah refunded the game and give bad reviews but in that case the, the game looks phenomenal so far and the system requirements yeah they are high but f looks justified it really looks justified and even 10 uh, 30 60 i think we'll be able to play these games with some gentle dlss and some like optimized settings so not max settings so yeah guys uh, let me know what you think and thank you for watching and see you later